Here are 12 ways that teachers can use ChatGPT in their classroom. First and foremost, get into Google, type in ChatGPT, click on the first link. Mine's kind of tucked behind my sidebar here. At the top of the screen, you can click try or there's a really bright button right down below behind my little side panel that says try it. Click on that. It's going to ask you to either sign up or log in. If it's your first time, please sign up. Just use your Google. It's the quickest way in if you'd like. Um, I use Google and it's fast. The first way to use ChatGPT is to write a lesson plan for whatever it is that you're doing next. This is great for veteran teachers, this is great for new teachers. It's going to build you a lesson plan that's basic, but a place to start. First thing I noticed was it said second to third grade. I teach middle school, so I could go back in and refine my search for what I'm actually looking for. Then, once it pumps out your lesson plan, you can go ahead and ask it to create a worksheet to practice whatever lesson that you were just doing. It will actually go through and create a worksheet for you from top instruction all the way down to the bottom with final practice that you can actually highlight. And if you go into another tab, go to doc.new, which is a little shortcut that I teach and it's gonna open up a new Google Doc and you can paste in that material into this Google Doc that you can then fix to your heart's desire and create this worksheet for your students. The second way to use ChatGPT is to write a parent email, especially if you're not really sure how to sound very professional about something, ask it to write an email and then include whatever the instance is, in this case, a child disrupting class. It will go through and create a beautiful professional email for you that you can go in and customize for that child and that parent and you can send it out and it's wonderful. No brain power used by you. <laughs> the next way is to create a five sentence paragraph about any topic that you choose. In this case, I talked about growth mindset. This is perfect for the English classroom when you want to create a sample paragraph for students to look at and maybe play with, with highlighting, learning the different parts of a paragraph, and you don't have to create it. AI created it, so it has all the basic bits that you need. It's not going to be exceptional like a human paragraph would be, but it works. The next way is to create writing rubrics. And the beauty of this is you can make them very specific if you just keep asking AI to generate different things. It'll create this very basic one that I'm showing you now. Or you can go ahead and ask it for argument writing or narrative writing or whatever it might be. It will do that. And then my favorite part as an English teacher is once you find a rubric that you like, you can ask this AI to provide feedback on specific writing using the rubric that it created for you. So I jumped in and I created a very basic paragraph about golden retrievers and it went through and using the rubric, it showed where that paragraph fell and you can look at their ideas and kind of judge for yourself whether you think that feedback is correct, but at the end it gives you a very overall kind of feedback for the paragraph that you can provide to your students help save a bit of time. You can also use this to create a daily objective. If that's something required at your district, it often feels like one more thing to do. So this will create the daily objective and some activities that you can use if you're kind of, you know, stumped or short on time to teach that daily objective that day. It's really quite nice. You can also create movie or just general permission slips for your classroom. In this case, I asked it to do a permission slip for a PG-13 movie, and it was wonderful. <laughs> Just go in, copy-paste into a Google Doc, it's done. This one was more fun for me, so generating compliments for your students. If you're wanting to create more of a positive vibe in your classroom, but you're just tired, this is a great way to create compliments that you can tailor towards specific students, or maybe it just helps you kind of brainstorm and come up with different ones for your kiddos. Another thing that this can do is to create some affirmations for teachers if you're feeling a little bit down in the morale business about teaching and you just need to hear some great things. But what I love most about this is it actually can be refined to be funny or refined in any way you need.
need it to be. I took those teacher affirmations, asked them to make it funny, and oh my goodness, was I laughing so hard at the way they transformed them into things that are true, but I would never have been able to think of that, especially after a long day of teaching students and just doing all the millions of things that we do. This AI can generate things and change them and refine them until they're exactly what you asked for. And uh, they might make you laugh like this last one made me laugh.